You can now create your own style parameter right within mid-journey. The way it works is you wanna head into Discord, type in slash tune. When you hit enter, it's gonna ask you to put in a prompt. And in this prompt, you're gonna try and create a style and then we're gonna go tune that style within mid-journey. So I'm gonna come up with, now I haven't actually done this, but vintage cartoon, neon retro futurism. I'm gonna hit enter. And it says here you, to wanna to create a style tuner with this prompt, style directions. This is basically how many images it's gonna create. The more you create, the more GPU time it's going to cost you. So if I hit 128, obviously it's going to cost me 1.2 fast hours. Apparently a lot of people are doing very well with 32. So I recommend trying that first so you're not going to chew up a whole bunch of your GPU time. And also under default mode, you can go with raw mode or default mode will essentially be the opinionated version of mid journey. I prefer the opinionated version personally. So you want to try that out for yourself on raw, give it a go. But for today, we're going to stick with default. So it tells me I'm gonna use about 0.3 of my fast hours. I have the basic plan with use $30 a month. I get 15 fast hours. So I think that's gonna work out all right. Now I'm gonna hit submit. It's gonna ask if I'm sure, because it is gonna cost me those fast hours. I click again. Now it's gonna create those images and go from there. And now after a few minutes, it's come up saying the style tuner is ready. So I'm going to click on this link, tuner.midjourney.com and I'm gonna open it in a new tab. It's gonna ask, say I'm leaving Discord. I'm just gonna say I trust tuner.midjourney and click visit site. Now from here, you get a little bit of information. One is our prompt and a couple of options of how we wanna actually choose how to basically tune this style. So I've got here some options. This is the first option, which is compare two styles at a time. I'm essentially gonna go through and I can either just leave it blank or I can pick the one I like. So in this case, it's the one on the left or the one on the right and I can go through and pick what I want. The other option is instead is to pick your favorite images from a grid. So instead of picking between two images, I can instead just pick the images I do like between these two here. So it's a similar thing, but there's only one image to choose between the two. But I think it's a little bit more control, a little bit more control with what you're trying to do. But what's really cool is we get this little bar down the bottom here where I can switch from one or the other. And you see I've already got a style here. I can actually hit this button to reset. So we have nothing selected. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stick with, pick my favorite images from a grid. And I'm gonna try and go for something that looks a lot like this, something very distinct. So I'm gonna choose this image, that image. I do kind of like this image, but I don't think it marries up. This image here. So we're going for something cartoony, very neon. I'm gonna go through and just pick some of these. So I've picked a handful of images and now I have this style here. So I'm gonna hit the little copy button to copy the entire prompt and head back to Discord. And now I can test this out. I'm gonna go slash imagine and paste my prompt in there and hit enter. Now this style, I can actually copy it and share it. For now, I'm actually gonna copy it into a, a notepad or something for safekeeping. And you can see we've been able to create this image. But what happens if I copy this style, I type in something else. A bear wearing a jetpack. I paste in my style, hit enter. You can see how it's really stuck to a very similar style. It doesn't have the neon colors, but the actual style of the drawing and everything is there because the word neon's not in the prompt, but it still kind of has that feel to it when working, but it doesn't just stop there. I can head back to my tuner and you can see I have my code here, but I can still reset. And if I want to, I can just click this one image. I've selected one image on its own, I'm going to copy this, head back to Discord, imagine, paste in my prompt. But on top of that, I'm also gonna do this. I'm gonna to go to our bear wearing a jetpack and I'm gonna get rid of the other style and paste in the new one. A bear wearing a jetpack with the new style I just copied and submit. And we have our first one, which is the full prompt and you can see how it has that detailed look to it like the image I selected. And then we have our bear, which is now a different sort of detailed style of drawing. So you can actually go through with that one tuner and create several different styles. Now we can keep doing that, but I'm actually gonna do something a little different. We're gonna reset. Imagine I wanna choose this one and say this one here. I now have this style, which I'm going to copy. But this time I'm gonna head back to Discord and I'm going to paste my prompt. However, I can now combine styles. So if I take the style we just did a minute ago, which is this number right here, at the end of this style, I type dash, 
and then paste that style onto the end. And I hit enter, it will create an image combining those styles. Now we get this really cool grid of images. And once again, I can go to remix, add in my bear wearing a jetpack and keep the full prompt and the two styles, submit. And then again, we've created another image of a bear with a jetpack keeping that really detailed illustrative style attached to it. So you can basically go through, create a whole bunch of different styles just by clicking on and off different images, going back and forth, and you just copy those styles down, try them out and see what you think. But there's still something else. What I can do, copy this prompt. I'm gonna stop at style, paste it in there. A bear wearing a jetpack, vintage cartoon, neon retro futurism. And where it's the style, I can go space, random. And I can leave it at random, or I can go random dash 16, or random dash 32, or random dash 64, or random dash 128. And that will actually produce an image using randomized style codes to get something really unique. So let's try that one out with random 32. Okay, you see I typed in random 32. However, it created a random style here for me to work with. And now we've got this, which looks <laughs> pretty ordinary, but that's what you get with random. You don't know what you're gonna get at all. So, but the final tip, if I really like this style and I wanna keep using it, is I'm gonna copy this dash dash style and the random code after it. Come down to prefer, option set, click option, type in V future. I'm gonna just click outside of that, hit value, and paste in my style. So what this is gonna do is create a code I can use to summon that style. I hit enter, and now the custom option V future has been set to this style. So now I type in imagine Darth Vader on holiday dash dash V future. Hit enter, and it will automatically add my style on the end. So I get this nice little code I can use instead of having to remember these crazy styles and numbers. You see that same style has been added to Darth Vader on holiday, that sort of cartoon drawn style. I'm gonna go with the Incredible Hulk, vintage cartoon, neon retro futurism, dash dash V future to summon that style again and get something unique once more. And check out the style of these images. And I actually recommend if you ha have a play with this, create some styles you really love, come back and leave them in the comments below and let's see what styles we can come up with and experiment with. Let's share these around and see what we can create. Otherwise, that's the video for today, guys. Remember, after you've done this, you can still always go back to that tuner if you haven't closed it yet and go through, see what else you can come up with out of these styles. It's pretty handy. And definitely spend some time seeing what you've been able to get here because never before have we been able to really grab a style and simply have it sitting there and have a little bit more predictability of what we can get. Using this and some good keywords in your prompt is a great way to take more control over how your images will look. So definitely have a play with that. This could be another step in mastering your prompts and I think it's really exciting for mid-journey users. So I hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. If you did, please consider giving it a like. If you want to learn more about custom codes, I will pop an image on the screen right now. I'll pop a video on the screen right now you can check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you again next time.